here's three ways to completely break piggy build mode. Let's get started. Number one, world crushing. To achieve this, first place down the player spawn. You'll need to put it so high in the sky that the blue move tool handles vanish. Once you do that, simply go in the settings and teleport to the player spawn. You're going to keep repeating this process. Shout out to Epic Tank for showing me this because he can do it way better than I can. Soon, your game will get unstable. Everything on your screen, including your own chat, will get warped and glitchy. Once you're here, place down your blocks. If you aren't able to, try starting and stopping your game until you can. I wasn't able to pull it off, but Epic Tank definitely could. Every NPC you place down will become crushed and distorted. But that's not all. Some decorations and even many events will become distorted and broken. However, keep in mind that some of them will revert back to normal once a game has already started. But the glitchy effect will still remain. You can utilize this trick to create a brand new immersive effect in maps with glitchy themes. Number two, the link nuke. What could be more deadly than spikes, lasers, or even power death blocks? Those, those aren't in the game yet though. How about a weapon powerful enough to crash the server itself? This device is so powerful and so quick, it crashes the game before the button press animation even happens. Here is how you're gonna build it, so follow the links on screen. Shout out to the mobile person for creating this, and please use this responsibly. You can even use it to shut down your own server, since there's no longer a kick all button in the settings menu. Number three, the devil's NPC. Unlike the other methods I've shown in this video, this one really has no beneficial purpose at all. It's just simply a bad thing, a bug. Take a trader NPC and place it down anywhere in your game. Then in the settings menu, set the ID to 666 or any ID you want, as long as the ID isn't valid. Finally, start the game. Since there is no player ID with that number, the game will permanently be stuck on loading until you leave and shut down the server. So make sure your map is saved before you try this. Want more quick and quality Roblox content? Subscribe!